Okay, so I got a lot of work ahead of me, but uh, this is going to be a nice trailer when it's all set and done. everything up for welding. As you can see here I have these fenders attached. Nothing too fancy. I uh, just used the existing braces that were on here, tacked them on, and then I merged them into the uh, this outer rail that I added. Added a support in the middle. So those guys are done. And then all the work for the, uh, the cross members, those are all finished. Uh, and I have these tabs here that I put on. So this is where the sheets of plywood w are going to meet up. So that gives me a place to bolt them down, secure them. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is to get the mounting points for the lights on this trailer. Now, what I think I'm going to do is take these lights that I purchased from Princess Auto and I'm going to attach them right to the back bumper here. Now, they give you some screws and they're... Um, I don't even know what you call those, but they're square on the end there. And what they do is they slip into these channels. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because that back bumper is pretty thin wall, I have a bunch of just little plates here. So I'm going to drill and tap these guys, and then I can screw, screw these right into there. I'll lock tight them up nice and good. And then my lights can just clip right on. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the mill and we'll drill and tap these guys. I just ran out of welding gas, but I, I have just a couple small welds here, so I'm just going to do it anyway. It won't be pretty, but whatever. Okay, those turned out good. Have them mounted on there now. Got the other side done. License plate bracket underneath, all ready to go. Yeah, so you can just see how they attach down there, and then they just kind of slide off. I don't know if I'm thrilled about that, but let me see if I can tighten them later on or something. Okay, that's good. Now that I have those mount ons, what I'm going to do is take my grinder, strip some of this gunk off the frame here, and then I'm going to throw some paint on it, and then I'll do the wiring, I think. Okay, I'm just getting ready to prep this fender for some paint. I've already gone ahead and painted some of this other stuff here. It turned out real nice. Now, what I'm using on this is Pour 15. So I don't know if any of you guys heard of this, but 
it's it's used in a lot of um, restoration of old cars and stuff like that. So it's supposed to be a, a rust converter and sealer. And you can get them. These ones come in just the uh, the smaller cans. So what I'm going to do before I put the paint on this, so I'm just going to clean it. They have this Pour 15 cleaner as well. I've used this before and it works real nice to degrease everything. So I'm going to degrease the fenders and then uh, we'll dry it off and we'll put the, uh, the Pour 15 paint on. Alright, nothing special with this stuff. Don't even need to prime it. Just take it, just start brushing it on. Now this stuff is uh, self-leveling. So it will actually leave a semi-decent finish, too. Okay, well, I'm just going to go at her. <laughs> okay, now that I have uh, the frame painted up, well, at least the, the outer sections that I, I wanted painted, so this is all coated with uh, Pour 15. This stuff turns out real nice. You just brush it on. Leaves a pretty decent finish, for brush anyway. Okay, so what I've been doing, I've gone ahead and I've mounted all these uh, the side amber markers. I have three on the sides. All right, one at the back here. And now what I'm doing, oh sorry, I have the, have the tail lights installed. Got those guys in. And now what I'm doing is I'm just running the wires. So I have all the wires connected. There's just one wire that connects to the, uh, the, the frame for your ground. Then you have your running light and your signal light. So I ran those all along the top inside of this channel here. I put some of these little uh, wire hangers or clips or whatever you want to call them. Just pop riveted them right into the frame. So what I'm doing now is I have to connect these amber markers. So there's one wire that comes off and they're actually uh, this pin right here. This pop rivet is actually the ground goes into the uh, the light on that. So what I need to do is run this black wire over and splice it into the brown wire. So I'm going to start working on that now to get my side markers done. There's a little trick that I do. If you, if you have a crimp connector where on one end you need uh, a large wire size, so this one here, this wire is quite a bit thicker and I'm merging the two together. What I'll do is I'll just strip extra on the other one and you just fold it up nice and tidy. All right, make that significantly thicker. All right, and then that'll crimp on there real nice. Okay, so I have the wiring on the trailer complete, with the exception of the plug at the other end. So I have my brake and turn signal lights on. I have my center marker on. And then over on the sides here, I have all my side markers wired in. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to start putting the decking on. What I've chosen this time is plywood. So this is 5 8 uh, pressure treated plywood. And I just need to cut a little bit off because my trailer is 91 inches wide. So I'm just going to trim the edges off and then I'll start getting this decking installed. Okay, well, the trailer is finally complete. All the wiring is connected, all the decking is on, and I just finished completing all my tie downs. So these are those uh, easy tracks, so your, uh, your straps just slide into these slots and you can, yeah, connect all your tie down straps. So I have it laid out so that each strap is just gonna go right over the wheel, so I don't gotta fool around tying it around bars on the frames. And then I took this box that I had. This was on the old trailer. So I have a nice big storage box up in here now. I can throw all my straps and any other stuff that I might need. And I have the uh, seven pin connector all wired in into the frame. I'll just poke my head under here. Hard to see. All the wires all connected. So 
we're ready to go. I'm gonna throw the ATVs on here and we're gonna head off for a little trip. Quick and easy, over. 